Cool. Kia ora Kato. I'm Stephen, and um, it's great to welcome you all here. I'm really, yeah, that so many people showed up for a second meeting, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and the other thing is that there's lots of people who emailed me and said, oh, a last minute meeting has come up, I can't make it. But there's actually like at least five or more people who were, would have been here, but just couldn't make it today. So there's, um, yeah, beyond this room, there's a, another cohort of people who are willing to be involved and, and want to contribute, which is great. So this is, so we had one planning meeting in December, and I'm just gonna take it for granted kind of what we discussed there. Basically, we've got a Slack channel, which is up on the screen, and what I thought we could do is use the topic headings that we decided on last time as a kind of agenda, and then just run through them. And the, the aim here is that some of you will want, have more interest in certain things than others, and so choose the one, you know, choose your own adventure. <laughs> so if communications is your thing, then that's the one that you'll get more involved in. You know, if food and is your thing, if venue, if experience, like that's going to be what we're going to do. So, um, and ideally we'll get, you know, four or five or more people kind of running each of the streams. And then my role is really just to help facilitate and to just be the central point. Like if somebody says, oh, the food is going to cost this much and then I'll help like, oh, okay, we need to update the pricing and, you know, just be that central point there. Yes. Um, are you going to re-share this channel because I'm guilty of at the end of the year going, I have too many emails and just putting things places that I yeah. now can't find? I'd be happy Could to re-share this email. Yes, yes. no you. problem. Um, the other thing is I'm videoing this because I found last time quite a few people couldn't come, but they appreciated the chance to hear the content mm -hmm. at their own, you know, time and space including yeah there we go so um and hopefully it helps people understand the ethos behind it and what we're trying to do it's because this is not a top-down organized thing this isn't run by any one organization this is a grassroots ground up um, and on that note i wanted to mention this thing book which i'm just starting to read and it's actually fascinating it's about new power and it's saying the old paradigm of power which was sort of the top down you know the government is telling us this or you know different structures that this way the new power is what we're doing here which is kind of the crowd and people getting together so harvey weinstein being an example of the old power you know the 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 guy at the top of the tree with all the power Hmm. and the Me Too movement being an example of the new power unseating that. So it's quite, so I could, reading this, it's like actually what we're doing here is part of this sort of new way of operating. Can we just check that um, Jess can hear? Can you hear us all right? Not very. Um, is it on speaker? Right? Yeah, it's on speaker. So Jess is from Pledge Me, and she's based in Wellington, but she's keen to participate, and she's organized a whole bunch of unconferences in the past, um, including one I went to a year ago. So, um, yeah, hey team, if anyone's on the Slack, the meeting, I can't hear anything on the speakerphone. Oh. Okay, everyone is well, so keen to help with pro program curation and recruitment once there's a date and venue set. Okay, all right. Well. Why don't we, uh, that's why we're doing the video. <laughs> um, so hi, Jess. I'll just refer to her there. If that's okay, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, IT. <laughs> that's one thing to remember. <laughs> There's always going to be an IT issue. Um, so what I thought we could do is the, the channels here represent these different work streams. And I've got a few updates on different things, and we kind of collectively need to make some decisions. Um, the biggest decision is around the venue or the venues, and whether we go towards University of Canterbury, which have really kindly offered the C block and next to it, which is mm -hmm. quite large facility, mm -hmm. and keep it centered in one place, and it just happens there. So there's a lot of attraction. Or if we go towards Central City, and try to have a more spread out approach. Mm -hmm. So um, since that's, the, that's probably the biggest thing, I'll, maybe I'll explain where we're up to on both of those. But um, if you have any questions as we go, just jump in and, and we'll talk about it. Um, so originally I went to Ara because I thought Central City would be an amazing, um, you know, being right in the heart of the city, mm -hmm. that would be good. And 
it turns out that what they can offer is multiple classrooms. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect from a workshop point of view. Mm -hmm. Like we could easily have 30 or 40 people meeting in their classrooms, um, but they don't have a big room, like a big, we can take 400 people yeah. type of room. Um, the Marai, which is on the campus as well, will be going through refurbishment, mm -hmm. so we can't use that either, um, which is a shame because that would have that seats mm -hmm. a lot of people, or you can fit a lot of people in. And just a reminder: the Friday evening will be a gathering of everybody mm -hmm. to decide on the topics, mm -hmm. and then the Saturday will be the playing out of mm -hmm. what it was that we decided. Um, so the good news, if we did go Central City, is that Ira have uh, multiple classrooms that we could use. Um, also, Michelle Sharp at Vodafone has said, has said we can probably use their space, which um, seats about 150 people. Uh, yeah, so that's quite a big space. And then Epic have said that we could use their space as well. Um, so that's the BNZ brand branding. Um, it's a space of maybe 50, 60 people could easily fit in. So those are all quite close to each other in what's kind of the innovation district, the SALT district. Mm -hmm. Has um, um, Ministry of Awesome had any contact about their space in the new building well, at Ara? I can't yeah, name that, was, that was the original intent. I wanted to oh, use okay, that, yeah. but Ara said that the engineering department uses it on a Saturday, so it was too difficult to okay, switch out. Gotcha. Even, yeah. I know where you're talking yeah. about, mm -hmm. even at the footsteps area, it, we, we couldn't use that, the Kahukura building. Yeah, so that was a shame, because that was originally the idea. Um, so the other thing is that we don't really know how big this thing is going to get. Um, so it's kind of nice in some ways. I'm not too worried about this. Like, everyone I talk to is on board. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But it's just a case of, in some ways, if we were in the central city, it could, it could grow and expand as, mm -hmm. as we needed it, depending on how many people sign up. The obvious other venues are the Town Hall and Isaac Theatre, mm -hmm. but you have to, well, probably would have to pay some money mm -hmm. to get into those. So I've contacted both of them, and some of you have, may have better contacts than me, um, but they've given me their price list, mm -hmm. and obviously that then, you know, it's more in the, it's a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, is Turanga an option? Turanga is an option, and I haven't contacted them yet. So this is one of the things for anyone interested in venues, this is where I'm only one person. I need mm -hmm. help to help crowdsource it of, we can all um, so contact Turanga different things. Too small. If you want to have a big, yeah. Um, yeah. just from a, a event management point of view, mm -hmm. the, the town the spaces in town kind of yeah. fits the whole conference. Yeah. However, people moving from place to place, you can often lose people or yeah. they go, oh, that's too hard. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to mm -hmm. go there. And where am I going? Mm -hmm. So from a point of view of the ease, the yeah. university would be great. Mm -hmm. um, and if they've got the big lecture theatres, if you're having your um, your first session yeah. of with everybody, I don't know what sort of numbers you're hopefully expecting. Yeah, well, in my mind, it's changing all the time. But I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking 400 right now. Yeah. But um, so you the one don't other thing about the... that can fit 400 people yeah. in um, one... Uh, unless you pay for it and go to Isaac Theatre or Town Hall? Uh, ta yeah, Town Hall will be five grand to hire the big yeah. auditorium. Um, the smaller rooms probably too small. Um, yeah, it might be. That auditorium style is, could also be quite nice for sharing ideas and speaking. Some of the venues will just be flat, so you won't have that tiered seating. That might yeah. be more of a kind of yeah. inclusive what about space. What school use for Mike King? Um, like Hayata, yeah, Hayata Community Hayata. Campus. Yeah. So they've got yeah, that's a big auditorium where the seats fold down. And was it like 700? Yeah, it's very like reasonable. It's reasonable. I don't they, know what they other... They didn't charge us much. No. Like yeah. Or something yeah, I think Future of Learning was there two six, years ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That could be an option. a huge space in the middle, and then they've got rooms all in that building. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if that could be. It could be an option. Yeah. The other thing with university is I think there are exams in the morning on the Saturday mm -hmm. so that the, the bigger room, was that right, Lisa? Do you remember? I'm not sure. I, I, yeah. So Tim Winfield's the one who's been liaising yeah. about the room. Mm -hmm. um, but he did say that I think C block was being used in the first half of the Saturday. So that was another mm -hmm. 
negative, if you like. But mm. um, and because how many sort of um, workshops are you thinking? To be, are they sort of all running at the same time, or all at different times? Do you need multiple? Yeah, we need multiple, rooms? multiple smaller rooms. Yeah, yeah. And the way I'm thinking right now is that we'll have like a tech stream an art stream, a community stream, or whatever, mm -hmm. and that would probably designate, like, okay, that part yeah. is focused that's on that um, the arts. Mm -hmm. And so if you, that's all you really care about, you probably just hang out there all day. Yeah. Yeah. And, but yeah, it's basically workshop style. So the first day, people will have proposed their idea, mm -hmm. and then the second day it plays out, like, sure. okay. So you only need a really big space on the first. On the first, yeah. 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 Although the, at the very end, one of the things I'm keen is that this isn't just a adrenaline high point of, wow, I went to that conference. It's actually, here's some action, some steps mm -hmm. that we're taking. Mm -hmm. So gathering everyone back, back at the very that. end is probably a good idea as yeah. well. So we could so. still do it in town if we used one venue at the start and the mm. end that was bigger and then used other or other venues. Yeah. I think town, from my point of view, has the right vibe yeah. for this kind of conference. Like, mm. like I love UC and I worked at UC and yeah. bank UC and yeah. Um, but in terms of like the vibe the, of the that's, city, yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. The I, town yeah, works better for the yeah. Yeah, well, I have to say that's where I'm leaning as well mm. because I feel like it. I also feel like it's a bit more organic and mm -hmm. it will evolve a bit more. And if I can get enough of you helping to find venues I feel like they are yeah. out there yeah. like I was talking with somebody who said well we've got a boardroom and you can use it you know it's relatively small but it's right next to Vodafone and then Biz Dojo they haven't gotten back to me yet but they've got some facilities yeah. and yeah, yeah. They've and got the events the, you, that experience mm. you know there's almost I almost think of it as like almost like some sort of a treasure hunt you know what mm. I mean mm. so there's and you're getting to see all of the city or see parts of the city as part of the experience yeah I just really yeah I think there's a great story well, that would, in that that would be how so the comms team <laughs> that's how we're going to have to express yeah. it yeah. is that this is a journey and we're <laughs> yeah, on journey, it because exactly. that's the, the journey yeah but that's the downside is yeah. that oh i'm at our uh, my next thing oh it's over at epic i've got to walk over there mm -hmm. you know it's so we need to leave enough time between mm -hmm. sessions yes. and yeah. like there's flow-on impacts yes, of, of choosing this course is it, is it may? what's that is it it, may? that the plan is for may yeah right now the 8th and 9th mm -hmm. so that friday the 8th and saturday yeah, so the 9th yeah Everything's pretty close though, like, we can, we can make it fun, we can have yeah. people that, you know, walk you there and tell you a fun story along the way or something, you know, yeah. like. There's a new, there's real potential, yeah. There's a new school too, unlimited, playing a tough video, I know nothing about that, but okay. that's right in the, oh, yeah, yeah that's course. an interesting yeah. idea. Yeah. How many people, what's the capacity that you need for the workshop rooms? Well, the, so there will be probably, but this is up to us, probably seven or eight different work streams or, you know, um, types of workshop. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was thinking like 40 or 50 in each. Okay. So, so you. Standing or sitting? I'm just trying to think of like. Yeah, yeah what I type of spaces? Yeah, yeah. I've got one in mind and I'm just thinking when I go approach them and they say, how many people do you need? Yeah. Well, I would think it would be sitting. Yeah, but, okay. Um, well, 50 people sitting is, is what you're sort of. Yeah. Back around. When I've done it before, or been to con unconferences before, one of the principles is that you vote with your feet, so you're able to move between mm -hmm. sessions. So it is quite a fluid thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we would have to have some way to, because we don't want 200 people going to this one place mm -hmm. that only can have 50 people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to spread it out and equalize it a bit. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it probably won't be equal, so maybe we need spaces between, say, 20 up to 100. Mm. Um, I don't know what happens if you get five people wanting to go to one stream. Mm. Do, you, do you can it? Or <laughs> yeah. Well, so how I long between, sorry, the first <coughs> where you're getting all the ideas and what people want, is it, it's the next day? It's the it? next day, yeah. So you don't so really have a, a lot of time to plan yeah. who's going where. That's right. If you need to change, say, if you get yeah. only five or 100 and you go all... Oh, do they That's repeat right. though? Do the workshop as a oncer or does it repeat? I think it's a oncer, ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So you're there or you're not there. Although um, some people have approached me saying they have audio recording devices like my one mm. and they would be willing to help record some of the sessions, which okay. then, that's yeah, okay, this cool. is long-term thinking, but then we could put it up yeah, afterwards. Like the impact on conference. Yeah, like put up the audio. Um, yeah, the other thing is that I think 
uh, depending on what others think, I think we should prearrange some people to speak so that we at least know some of the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a true, like a, I don't know if there is such a thing, but a true unconference, yeah. like mm -hmm. we completely have no idea. I think it'd be good to prep a few key people mm -hmm. who we know in the city are amazing and excellent and get them and also that would help with the story of why you yeah. want to come because yeah we can't we, have a completely blank because yeah. some people some people are like us they're going to be all in yeah. Yeah. anyway oh yeah i'm going to be there but some people need some bit of an some incentive. structure yeah, yeah. Um, they're the traveling or they yeah, need to exactly. justify need some to be other part of what? the organization yeah. they need to what's but, in it for me right so yeah festival yeah festival for the future in wellington when i went to that yeah. you could be at a workshop or listening to one of the speakers so you knew who the speakers were mm -hmm. and they had workshop topics it wasn't an unconference but you could be doing either yeah so like if you wanted to start everyone started their day with a speaker yeah but then after that you could choose whether you right. stayed and listened to someone or you went off and did two workshops yep. or you stayed and listened to someone and went off and did another two workshops yep makes sense so, so this is the beauty yeah. of like we're literally creating this we're co-creating yeah. it but one option would be if we felt like it was right to actually hire a, ni a really nice venue like the Isaac Theatre or something like that because the Social Enterprise World Forum, they held it there mm -hmm. and it's just got a nice vibe mm -hmm. just as an idea and yeah, pre-arrange speakers who are speaking at that venue and then have the workshops ha also happening at yeah. the same time. That would be an option too because that gets rid of your problem of the space having a starting point and an end point. Mm -hmm. um, it just introduces the cost, but I'm actually not that afraid of the cost because I think we could easily get sponsors to mm -hmm. cover a couple hundred mm -hmm. dollars each or whatever. Like it's not, it's not that prohibitive. <laughs> it's about having a frame, isn't it? We want to we want to create a frame mm -hmm. where we fill some of the slots, mm -hmm. and then once the topics are decided, we can know we can go, that one fits there, that one fits mm -hmm. there, that one fits there. Yeah. So that's what we we want to create as a template, I guess. That's that right. Yeah. 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 So in my mind, visually, I like to think in visual, like this mm -hmm. stream here would be pre-decided and we know who's speaking and where it is. But then these ones, we don't mm -hmm. know. We just know it starts at 10 yep. and it finishes at 11. Mm -hmm. And this one starts at 11, 20 and finishes at 12, 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with the um, workshops, once you once someone said, I want to have this topic, yep. how do you overnight ha have your facilitator Ready the person who proposes the topic is usually the facilitator. Right, okay. Yeah. So they should be a subject expert in <laughs> okay. what they're proposing. Sure. So if someone wants to talk about community housing and the future of New Zealand, hopefully they're standing up saying, I'm I will lead a session. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, it, and it kind of brings out people who are experts because you're right. not going to propose that topic if you don't no. know anything about it. Yeah, so I did one at an unconference called how to do a podcast because I do a podcast whereas mm -hmm. yeah you know so okay. that's the beauty of the unconference is that you're drawing on the expertise in the room mm -hmm. and and but the the danger the downside is we don't know exactly what we're going to talk about but that's also the selling point mm -hmm. is that we are mm -hmm. creating it and you 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 get the chance to present you know James, you're going to present about marine biology and films, you know, like that could be your topic or, you know, um, Bridget, you could be, I want to talk about the SDGs and what they are and what, what does it practically mean? You know, we, we don't know exactly, no. but those two could easily be yeah. sessions. And you have your schedule, here's where all the times are mm -hmm. and having some of those, I think having some of those speakers yeah. pre, yeah. pre-booked. Yeah. And, and allocated in time exactly yeah. yeah and then you've if you don't get enough people putting their hands up saying yes I'm gonna present this you've you know you've got content already yeah ready yeah. to go well yeah the reality is within yeah yeah within yeah. this room I already know there's plenty of content <laughs> so it wouldn't be a problem <laughs> but but it the yeah the other thing is that we could approach specific organizations mm. and say could you lead a session. Yeah, here's our know, streams of mm. yeah, TPK. Yeah. We would love to hear about what you're doing, you know, and that could be a session. Mm. So, yeah. 
I'm honestly not too worried about the content side of things. It's more the logistical, yeah. just getting the frame, like you said, the framework in place. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's funny what comes up in like one of the unconsciousness I was at, and someone wanted to host a workshop on weaving, and it wasn't related to what we were really doing, but everyone was really interested yeah. in doing weaving. So there was a it whole stream happened. on weaving, and all these people That's voted cool. for it. And I was like, okay, well, we're all doing weaving. We're in a we're going to get flags from now. Yeah, right. <laughs> But that's how it went. Like, yeah. 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 So um, I've talked a lot, and some of you have talked. Has anybody who's not spoken yet any contributions or thoughts? No? You're happy? Yeah, I think if we've got like a range of different sizes of breakout spaces, like by the time you've got classrooms at ARA, um, the EPIC space, the Vodafone space, which are both quite large, mm. and this dojo event space, which is about a 50 person space. Okay. If you've got all those within a block of each other, yeah. I think it'll be sorted in terms of breakouts and then it's just working out where that big mm -hmm. central opening and closing ceremony effectively yep. space is. Yeah. What's the access time look like that you need it on the Saturday? On the Saturday? Mm -hmm. You mean from what time to? What time, yeah. yeah. We'll have to talk with the team. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure exactly, I mean, it's Saturday, so we don't want to start too early, do we? But the team to get in would need, you know, to prep the rooms and things. Mm -hmm. Although we could probably have done some of that the night yeah. before and things. I mean, the chamber itself has yeah, space. Yeah, um, yeah, it comes down to that. How many can you fit in your space? Is it like 75 we or something? Or? 120 in our mainland, and then we've got yeah. one of yeah. Not seated though. Yeah. Not, not like this. Yeah. Not in the small room. Uh, no, maybe 30. Yeah, 30 at the most at, at tables. Because yeah. we've got quite big tables. Now. Yeah. But this is, like, I think with our respective networks, once we start asking, mm -hmm. I just feel like there will be places oh, that, yeah. that come up. So if it's okay, let's make the decision that we're going for Central City. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I'll write to University of Canterbury and say thanks very much and you know um, I'm thinking particularly for the Friday night just in case the C block could be a great venue you um, might need that so, big space mm. yeah so what I'll do is ask him to keep it as the booking for the Friday night mm. just because I wouldn't want to not have uh, you know a big enough spot mm -hmm. so we're thinking that the Friday night session will be just an evening Short yeah, session. just an evening, probably, okay. yeah, so after work people would come and the purpose of it is to set the scene, explain the values and the principles behind the event, mm -hmm. and then to actually solicit the what topics should we talk about. Um, and also probably we would have pre-prepared a few people to give some pitches on like the arts in New Zealand or the future of tech or something, just to get people, you know, like a Pecha Kucha style mm -hmm. lightning talk, um, get people thinking and then have them write their ideas. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't be a, a, I'm right now I'm thinking it probably wouldn't involve providing dinner, for example, because mm -hmm. that's a next level of organization mm -hmm. and cost. Mm -hmm. It would be more of a from six o'clock come to this place and then finishing up at, I don't know, 8.30 or 9 or something. And, yeah, yeah. So, it, do any of you have a real heart for venues and potentially helping to contact? Because it'd be good to have a, a team of people who help out with that. Yep, yeah. James. Yeah. So, I think I watched the reporting a few weeks back. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. Hmm. Um, and I think probably you said it that, that you were looking at the Marae. Mm. Uh, I think it was you mentioned Rewa Marae, which is in. Um, Maryvale, St Albans area, and yeah. I thought, you know, in terms of the arrival on Friday night, yeah. you're going to have sort of a profili, that kind of fan out sort of um, yep. welcoming session for, for participants, and yeah. I, I'm just guessing that that might be, for inclusiveness, for many reasons, um, a, sort of a good way to yep. include the whole of, you know, um, you know, Pane and yeah, you yeah. Know, so, so, so that's what I mean. It's like that's an option, and also I was thinking of the, the great hall, in the art center, which might be useful for mm -hmm. other reasons. Maybe on the Friday, maybe on the Saturday night. But it's got this really big yeah. um, room, stained glass, nice. 
Harry Potter sort of feel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could do that at the other end um, equally. Um, yeah, no, I, thank I, I you for Mariah. mentioning. Yeah, I agree that Mariah would be a great idea to explore further. And I just don't know if you'll get 300 people in here. Yeah. Or right. If it was uh, Nahoya Farm and Pages Road, you probably would. Yeah, okay. True. It's a lot yeah, bigger. Yeah, it's, it's, but it was not quite. Is that the one by, um, yeah. sort of on the, towards. Towards Aranui, yeah. Pages Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you you get you get more there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it was just like an evening thing, the yeah. evening was going to be based at the Marae. Mm. Yeah. It would be possible, maybe. Yeah, it's possible. a shame yeah. that Tepunawanaka is having I know. The it would have been ideal to yeah. have it there. It's so central. Yeah. Well, this is the th- so this is where I'd like to move to the other topics. But mm-hmm. if some of you are interested in this and can help to coordinate it, then. I guess just reach out to me and um, the Slack channel. Are, are people okay with using Slack, or do you mm-hmm. prefer emails? Or mm-hmm. um, so, if it's, I would love for all of you to feel free to post whatever you want in Slack in terms of ideas and bouncing around, and then you know um, maybe that's how we'll do it. But yeah, I don't have any connections at that Mirai, for so example. I'll, I'll, so I'll commit to. Following okay. that up, okay, and finding out about whether or not we could even use, if it's possible. Yeah, if it's possible to use for Great. the Friday evening. Okay, so I'll post it in, in there. Okay. Yeah. All Before right. Else okay, we'll keep our eyes mm-hmm. open. <laughs> All right. So that's the sort of venue, but that's actually one of the biggest decisions is sort of realizing that we can pull it off in a place like that. The other, just the dates. The reason for the dates is that Tech Week is at the end of May. So I think it starts on the 20th or 22nd or something like that. And um, May, I feel like it's still not quite winter. (laughs) And hopefully we get some nice days and things. And April felt uh, just, well, it's too soon, I think. And also I want to have a little bit of separation between March 15 and the event. Like this isn't just about that will probably come out and that's cool but mm. it's more of a separate thing so just to explain the timing uh, and that date's set it's not really set i've just been saying to people it's probably going to be then but if we can agree that that's the date um i think it works like i think if we pushed it to june then it's mm. like a bit colder and you know I think it fits well with the learning city yeah. it does yeah as well so because yep. i think i saw that email and i went uh, I'll just do we fit with this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so, Erica. Oh, is, it that, is it that week? It's yeah. that. Okay. It's that week. I'm, I'm out of town for that weekend. <laughs> I'm discarded. Oh, right. But it's just one person, so I'm happy to organize stuff. Yep. But I just don't want to be able to be there on that weekend. Yeah, Learning City Christchurch is holding events in that whole week leading up to that weekend. Really cool. And Erica, um, who's involved in that, said that this event would align perfectly and so mm. we would get more publicity through what they're already doing so that seems like a win-win <laughs> nice. yeah. so did you say the 8th and 9th i think the 8th and 9th yeah sounds like we're landing on that so that's good to have an actual date mm. yeah i'm sorry it won't it's okay. match it's your it's schedule but someone, it? yeah <laughs> it, it, definitely yeah um the other thing just a quick update well, why don't we go through these channels mm. and i'm conscious of time i want to keep like moving crisply Um, but for communications um, there's now 60 organizations that have provided logos that are on the website so I think that's pretty good exemplar of what we're trying to do which is collaborate bring people together but I know that each of you know many organizations (laughs) who also probably would be willing to provide their logos and say we support this and my dream is that we go from 60 to, you know, 200 logos, yeah. because that would be really impressive if we could hold an yeah. event in Christchurch that 200 organizations got behind, ranging from, because Christchurch City Council, Christchurch NZ, they've both given their logos right through to, you know, the smallest of the small little organization, but they're all kind of equalized on the support level, because there's no not asking any of them for sponsorship or money. It's just support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you so could... So it's, it's just the idea that they like what you're... Because I'm just thinking I, when yeah. I approach people that I think would be... What was it? What yeah, I'm, I'm explaining um, if you support what this is about, then mm-hmm. provide your logo. Okay. And that's all. 
That's the ask. There's no money involved. You, you, you think this is a great, wonderful thing that you think is... Yeah, this is something is new and like different for Christchurch. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. And um, we would love to have your logo as well because okay. we're in, you know, it's inclusive. We want to have wide, diverse range of things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and so far I haven't had to deal with like really weird requests. <laughs> I guess it's potential that somebody might say, well, I'd like to be involved and it's like a really random group that probably none of us would want involved and I think we'll just deal with that if that happens. But <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that would be quite cool. Just so that sort of comes sort of getting the message out. The point of this as well is that each of those organizations hopefully will talk about it within their groups and hopefully put it in their newsletters. And yeah. so it's not just us emailing out to people we know, it's actually gonna be organically using their networks to reach out. So and I think it's a win-win. part win. of the comms is actually approaching them and saying, <coughs> exactly. here's how you can help. Yeah. You've been supporting us, talk about You've this. given us the here's logo, some here's it. some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's actually what I think we need next is mm -hmm. a, like a one pager or a, what is this thing? and refining of the website a bit more, because then we could go out and say, you know how you gave us your logo? The next step is, would you be willing to tell other people about it? And here's a one page thing. Yeah. How, so, how hard do we want to push it? Because previously we talked about maybe limiting it, mm -hmm. and we were talking about maybe 80 to 100 people, 400 people, that's <laughs> quite a big difference, but mm -hmm. potentially we could go bigger. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know, 150 Māori businesses that I could put it out to if we want mm. maximum participation, but yeah. what do we want to be selective? Yeah, do it's a good question. Yeah. yeah, no, I love the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do other people think? It's something maybe to think about before mm -hmm. the venue decisions, right? Mm. Well, not before, but it impacts on that venue decision. Mm. I don't want to show up with my 150. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we need a room, guys. Yeah, my 150, you know. I mean, maybe this is just a trial mm. and then scale up yeah, in maybe. like six months or nine months. Mm. Um, I'm connected with the Edmund Hillary Fellowship and they're having New Frontiers in February mm. in Auckland. So yep. thinking, you know, time scales and schedules, you might want to do like a good trial and then in like nine months' time have yeah. a massive. Mm. Um, yeah impact on conference slash new frontiers whatever mm -hmm. that will be you know nationwide scale and yeah. potentially international as well yeah the thought. yeah well i've always viewed this as a trial run mm. so yes i hear you all <laughs> and if it works then we could easily roll it out in another part of the country and it could become an annual Christchurch based thing and and part of the reason for involving so many of you rather than keeping it closed and like the three of us are organizing it is that lots of us will know how this thing got started so that we can make sure it continues. I think if we, we do, it, do it well and keep it small mm -hmm. this year too and like prove the concept that it makes perhaps sponsorship and growth a lot easier mm -hmm. because it means yeah we've got the evidence there that mm -hmm. there's the interest in it and that it works and that it runs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's quite nice to have full rooms too, mm. rather than a few people rattling around in giant spaces. Yeah, and, and it's good to sell out rather than yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Like to outgrow yeah. rather yeah. than grow yeah. into yeah. 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 Mm. like a small business. You know, you yeah. want to outgrow rather than grow into the space I can't mm. afford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. I mean, my my feeling is that it will easily sell out because yeah. if we're talking about making it affordable mm. <laughs> and it's a day and a half event mm. um, I think it's going to get a lot of take up because Impact Summit last year I don't know how many that was but it sold out pretty quickly the one that you said um, yeah, because it, it was yeah and it was marketed that they like being really affordable yeah. Yeah. open to everyone and mm. it was huge demand for it mm. so I imagine it's a similar-ish audience yeah mm. do you remember how much that was and how many people there were Oh, yeah, I think I think for students is about twenty ish and for it was like thirty five for um, waged. But it's definitely pitched more at students. I mean I definitely went over there. But I was kinda I didn't mess out, I was like, please. 
But mm-hmm. yeah, but uh, yeah. it was particular. Certainly, Tate focused more on students. Yeah, yeah, yeah which was natural. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of leaning towards shoulder tapping team people. Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of number of people who you know aren't going to come and just kind of expect to be entertained, but actually want to want to give something. I think if I sent an email out to the whole network, you get a lot of people coming wanting to receive rather than mm-hmm. give. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas I think for the first one, like you're saying, prove the concept mm-hmm. and have people really buzzing. Yeah. You need everybody who's willing to mm-hmm. take and give kind of yeah. equally. And Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Part of that is just making really clear though what it is as well, right? Because mm-hmm. then naturally you're not going to get people who listen right. and listen. That That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. Well, let's not make a decision on that, like how many or anything, until we know more about the venues and like how many people they could even take. Because I, I think that's it important. Might be the other way around. Mm. Once you've kind of mapped out your program a little bit, yeah. you're going to go, "Hey, we need this many venues because we're going to have this many streams." Yeah. That also might. So it might be a little bit of a mm. chicken and egg type mm. conversation. Mm-hmm. To yeah. Yeah, mapping out the program is a good way. Like yeah, just going. You, know how many you sort might of, say we've got yeah. four streams, so we might need we might only need four venues for all the workshops on that day. Or you might come up with eight or nine and go, oh wow, that's eight or nine different venues. That might be too many. Yeah. So maybe that's uh, before you make your decisions on the venues, park that, and then yeah, map out your program a little bit. You've um, I mean, yeah. I know you you don't have the content yet, but yeah, these were the streams, these were the headings that yeah. I kind of come up with was art, business, tech, environment, housing, community, and then something that was like, anything could be goes. anything. Yeah, so that's seven. Six, seven. Yeah. So you could uh, start with that as a, we need seven venues for the workshops if you're thinking of having your art in one place, your business mm-hmm. in one location. Mm-hmm. So that might be a way of, that's quite a lot of venues. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm yeah. just thinking logistics. Yeah. That's a lot to kind of manage. Is the Vodafone building, is that one room that they're offering? I think they're offering the other downstairs room as well, but they're, it's still in approval process within their okay. organization. But it, it potentially could be it two could of be, those streams. Yeah, easily, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's a big space. Yeah. Tech, yeah. tech and business. Pardon? Yeah. Tech and business. Yeah. That's yeah. Like yeah. That's yeah. Vodafone. Arts and tech, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> it would be cool if you could map to this thing. Yeah, I was thinking this, the thing, yeah. You know, like to so go like to the location. Really cool room and space upstairs in the art centre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so true. It's yeah. beautiful up there. It's like the mezzanine floor and all the rest. Um, mm. And if you had your art there, it's like mm. a stream going there. Or, yeah. Or the art gallery or mm. like, yeah. inspiration in your hmm. space. Yeah. Just to know on the website, you might want to translate it in the um, Mali. Mm-hmm. And have the the El Mari kind of vibe and the values and the yeah. Just, just I would love that. that. I just need support from someone who's fluent. <laughs> I'm not fluent. Yeah, yeah. But I know um, people who I are know someone who is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a small gesture, but I put that at the very top. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, just trying to yeah. have a little touch of it. Yeah, I really like. That. Uh, I've I've been talking with lots of people who say yes, I'd like to support. I want to be involved, but just. Um, you know, it's the next level to actually <laughs> do mm-hmm. to actually do it. Um, yeah. But it, in terms of comms, I would really appreciate some of your stepping up and and helping. I know some of you. This is what you do anyway. You know, like this is this is your bread and butter. <laughs> so if some of you want to take on board some of these thinking around comms, that kind of ties in with this the story. I'm going to jump a little bit, but the story, we talked quite a bit last time about, like, why would you come to this, or what's the story we're telling? I know you had some thoughts about that, Dennis. Yeah, I've I've written a few things down. I think, like, the story, topic curation and communication are really tied together. Yeah. But the story for me is, why do I want to go? What's the the benefit? Is it going to, why would I want to encourage somebody else to go? Yeah. And I'm thinking in terms of provocations. Um... Like, like there are winners and there are winners and losers. Um, so, do we let the market decide, or is there collective political, political action? So, a provocation is actually putting people on a polarity as regards well, what do I think? And when you hear people talk from another perspective, it's it's it's, it's hard to ignore. So, oh, I want to engage with that. I want to put my my point of view across. Um, do we want to be inspired, or do we want to go and learn? 
So we're talking a bit about people will often, um, you know, we don't want to have a, a, a session where people are entertained. Um, and so, you know, there is the notion that the best way to learn is to teach. So if we are get people to participate, um, and so maybe there is a mix, there's a few speakers, but I think the majority of it would be, would be that regards. Um, other provocations could be sustainable business will not reach the masses because the masses are not ready for it. And so do we lead by example, or does maybe trickle, trickle down not work? And so that's another provocation because, you know, personally I don't believe trickle down does work. So therefore, leading by example has got limitations. Um, and I expect people have strong views on, on, on that. Um, do, when, we, when we go, are we representing our organisation? Organization? Um, is the collaboration, is it formal? You know, I work for such, such an organisation or is it personal? That's a really, that's a really interesting question, I think, mm. because I think that how you frame that will have impact on people who, if you represent your business, you come across one perspective, which is, oh, your own business is different, but you know, if you, or if I'm just coming as an individual and during the day I work for XYZ, but here I am today as Gemma, yeah. I think that's quite important to make that distinction. That is, and for me, it's someone who's worked most of my business, most of my um, career inside an organisation. Now being self-employed, I'm very aware that when we do the introductions, I no longer say I'm from such and such an organisation. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a lot of value for getting people to come, no matter what organisation mm -hmm. they belong to, as themselves, so they're able to be freely um, express a variety of different views. Mm -hmm. So somehow those provocations, my thing is those provocations put within the communication to tell the story will be the will be what hooks people into saying yes, I want to be a part of that. Yeah. So I'd love it if some of you were willing to help craft that story. And Jesse, I know you'd given some thoughts as well, and even in the Slack channel you typed out some things. Mm -hmm. So maybe people can go check that out as mm -hmm. a starting point. Yeah. The the hardest thing in the world is to put anything up mm -hmm. to be looked at, the first version. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for having a go there because mm -hmm. Um, it yeah. might be good if we just start like a Google Doc even and then people can just like jump in and edit it and you know because if we're just all going at it from a collaborative place I think that's quite a nice way to, yeah. to craft it and it is just about getting something down and then Mm -hmm. moving from there. And I think getting something down, you know, the, the challenge is, is, oh, I might get it wrong, yeah. or someone's going to complain. But when actually someone gives you negative feedback, that's an opportunity for an experience where you can then come to a, a new state of learning. So, yeah. mm. um, yeah. Well, why don't you create a Google Doc and put the link cool. in the, com the yeah. maybe the story channel, and then whoever wants to can dive in. And, okay. and I'm really conscious that we're all volunteers, you know, like it's, mm -hmm. we just use the time that we can. So the things will take longer than if it was like, you know, our job, but... Um, but maybe we should just set the norm that like, it's okay to, you know, push back against stuff or ask questions or like, you know, yeah, because we are all just working this out mm. together. Yeah. And just because it's been put on paper doesn't mean it's fine. Oh, it's just yeah. a starting point. Yeah. It's just start. Yeah, it's just exactly. start. Yeah. And if you're in the story, maybe jump in comms as well, because I think they're going to... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if anyone knows how to move them around so they're next to each other, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I think it, yeah, I think it's done it alphabetically, and I don't know, probably there's a way to change the setting. I'm not sure. I've got numbers in the front and they don't want to Maybe that would be, well, yeah. someone can do that, yeah, yeah. This is all, yeah, like, this is the point is that we can co-create it, so feel free to take responsibility mm -hmm. and just change stuff. It's, it's yeah. So you set up the, 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 the so that anyone could, the, everyone's an administrator? I don't, well, maybe one of you can research that and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to change something if you can. I'll change it okay. if, if it's at my end. Um, yeah. The, so we talked about comms in the story. Just back to the experience. Mm -hmm. That's for people to think about, okay, what's the overall, what's the vibe when the person first arrives? Is there somebody there with a it's great to see you, thanks for coming. You know, like what are they gonna remember, those subtle touches? Mm. So if people are interested in that, that would be great. To, it's yeah. maybe not quite as related, but I'm just coming back to your, your comment about the experience of being in the city and then the story, are we, and those points that I really like, um, but are we talking about impact for Christchurch, impact for New Zealand, impact for the world? that might be kind of interesting for people to know, okay, am I coming to talk about stuff going on in Christchurch? Mm -hmm. Or am I thinking about things, I mean, it's all connected, yeah. I know, but people work, people tend to operate at different scales. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
making some comment about that. Is this going to be really Christchurch? Is it going to be really New Zealand? Or is it going to be completely ungeographically bound? It might, might be helpful to yeah. communicate. Or is it more the other way in that it's not about a location, it's about what you can do. So, you know, instead of saying it's is about impacting Christchurch or impacting New Zealand or across the world, it's about, because people are going to be at different levels, mm. right? So when you talk about change readiness or whatever, so some people are like, no one impact is, they're coming, they're like, yeah, I'm ready to change the world. And they're confident they can do some things, whereas other people are like, I don't know what I can do, where do I start? Mm. So, and we're going to have both types of people probably attend so how do we articulate that that it's about and you know that it's an individual experience just like well-being or whatever and and it's actually about what you bring and what you can do rather than about and that might mean Christchurch for you mm. but it might mean New Zealand for me and it might mean the world for you so mm -hmm. yeah it's no lens well that's <laughs> that's the discussion that can happen I think mm. on this mm. yeah I I hear you and it's a great question and yeah. But I like that reframing of it as well. So let's keep that discussion going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be and good. the experience too, mm -hmm. um, the comment about just how it's framed up, mm -hmm. how, you know, like the timetabling and, you know, yeah. when people arrive, what is, where they're going and who pulls that together. So if there's a program or whatever that is, who's yeah. responsible for kind of that overall framework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and thinking about the little that things that like stuff to yeah. support that, like an event app, have you mm. explored that? Given that you're also going to kind of curate what that looks like the night before, mm. the first night, how that would work. There, there yeah. are, we, we've looked, used quite a few different apps for have you? different yeah. ones that have so different purposes, um, which would enable you to then launch your work streams that night, mm -hmm. reflect with what was chosen. And people then to register into them and you can send push notifications Magic. to the people on it to say, <laughs> we've just announced work streams that you know, then sends them a reminder in the morning, gives them yeah. a map. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. That kind of Especially stuff. if we're across yeah. multiple locations, that'd be really There is cool. a cost associated yeah. with yeah, I'm sure. these things, yeah. but they are, well, we just noticed last year they're getting increasingly cheaper yeah. over time. They used yeah. to be like, Okay, well, the cool the cool thing about that would be if you could register and then you're registered in the app and then you're all of a sudden in a community with mm -hmm. the people who attended and then it somehow brings up a channel and you can talk with the others like yeah. for ongoing impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like there it's is, um, yeah, there are a couple that help you sync with your say LinkedIn mm -hmm. profile or whatever. Okay. Or put in your contacts and then you can you might see someone. <laughs> and send them a message within the app or, yeah. but yeah there's varying but maybe what I can do I've got all that kind of background knowledge with it the chamber already details or we can sure. that. yeah that'd be great yeah. Yeah. pricing yeah. Yeah. something will yeah. let one thing go because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. the price, price structure quite a bit but yeah that sounds great we've yeah. used free ones too yeah <laughs> Yep. I've used them as an event participant before, mm. and I, I kind of feel like they were worth the money. Like mm. I was, oh, I, 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 yeah. I paid more for my ticket, but I, it was it, it meant that I got more out of the experience mm. because mm. I could, I guess I'm kind of organised now, analytical. I could get things, you know, and I, mm. so I, I yeah. thought it was something I was comfortable paying, and I've never been high income. Mm. So mm. if we're talking about impact too, in terms of. So not printing a whole lot of stuff on the yeah. 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 Well, that's a that's a great yeah. point. Mm -hmm. If we could be yeah, if we could be paperless and mm -hmm. it's all in your app, mm -hmm. I think that would be awesome. But it would take finding the right app and then having a team mm -hmm. who understand how it works, yeah. so that yeah. on the day it's not shutting down or something. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, um, TEDx they had like an event portal thing as well. And yeah. They here and then at the Impact on Conference the use of the question thingy, you know, where you could vote or you could ask questions yeah. to the panel. So, you you know, all of that kind of can, can increase our interactivity mm. yep. and engagement as well. Yep. So thinking about an app that can do mm. many of those things, it might address quite a few mm. of the things yeah. we're trying to tick yeah. off. Because yeah. you can include polling with that too. Yeah. So let's mm. say you do get 600 people in the yeah. front. I mean, that mm. this, uh, working out things and who would come to this, you could do yeah. some kind of live yeah. polling. Like Okay. Mm. Well, Kelly, if you don't mind <laughs> <laughs> investigating that further, that would be awesome. Maybe that's another channel. It could be. Maybe yeah, the app. Yeah. 
yeah. it's kind of like the whole logistics and yeah. who's going to manage collating all the information and saying what workshops are happening and what times they're going to be yeah. but all that mm. scheduling which will take quite a bit of time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. between yeah, Friday okay. night and yeah. Saturday morning so mm-hmm. you, you may possibly want to have your Friday a little bit earlier mm-hmm. so that you're not finishing at 9pm and then having to work till six in the morning to yeah. <laughs> to do it, and then yeah. you start again just some logistical things to possibly yeah. consider especially yeah. if you get 600 people there's a yeah. lot of people to yeah. people's thoughts and votes mm-hmm. to count right. and mm-hmm. um but yeah through the app we'll, if everything's yeah. done can that's the, the only way you can, can just put the last minute stuff in there yeah yeah and then, yeah. It's, and then it's launched yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Well, and if it was digital voting for the things mm. that you wanted to take part in as well, you'd be able to say, okay, these are the four sessions people are most interested in. Those mm. two are too similar, so we'll take one out. We'll grab right. that fifth one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll whack them all in this tech stream because we know we need four workshops for the day or whatever. Boom, done. Next yeah. stream. Yeah. Helps you know which yeah. menu is going to be right for which. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. Actually might surprise yourself on yeah. you want to go to weaving <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah. everyone wants to go to one thing uh oh <laughs> well this is this is definitely a stream that some of you hopefully can grab hold of and yeah. and bring it to life yeah just running through some of the others here um, we're not going to make any decisions right now but like food for example um, some people who aren't here are really interested in it um, the one suggestion has been can do catering, mm-hmm. that they oh. could they would be a great option. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to give um, Exchange Cafe yes. a chance yes. potentially to even if they did like a morning tea or something because yeah. they're 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 great mm-hmm. and um, Pedro I think you would appreciate the chance to at least pitch yeah. for some of the. Are the we going to cater the whole? Friday, mm-hmm. like is there going to be lunch or are people on the Saturday? Be, I was Saturday, right now. I was, I've just been thinking yeah. that there would be lunch, yeah. but but this is a great question. Do we instead go out to venues in that area and say, would you be willing to give a ten percent discount if people come and eat it in Little High or if it's open? Mm-hmm. I'm not even sure. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. um, snacks because that mm-hmm. would people need snacks, otherwise they get all oh yeah, and food. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You it, probably need refreshments for. All your venues, tea, yeah. coffee, mm-hmm. water, sometimes morning tea, lunch, mm-hmm. depending on how long you're going for. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure which kind of people you but um, I know that when I've done gone to these events as a student, I've often paid for beautiful food, like snacks, available, mm-hmm. lunch, everything, and I would have so much rather paid fifty dollars, knocked off my price, and me for a yeah. cup lunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I know that that's, yeah, that's an like option. One yeah. group, small group of people, I just would make that. I'm like, you know what, I, I BYO I, lunch. Yeah, yeah only, lunch. Be, only, be, and you always enjoyed the food. But I just kind of, as a student, needed the fifty bucks more. Yeah. So just, just to think about Is that when you look at mm-hmm. yeah, to think about when you're considering putting on a lot of awesome food. That's right. Yeah. To decide what you wanna. It is raising the price, and yeah. that's not necessarily. Everybody's going to want that. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. And like TEDx last year, they had a hangi and like mm. it was a full on amazing food. It was delicious, <laughs> yeah. but it was a big, it, I can imagine the logistics behind mm. it and the cost associated. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess it's just how that's communicated as well. Like to keep the prices low, bring your own snacks. Yeah. Or I like your idea of people can go out <laughs> somewhere mm. and yeah. eat. Maybe you know, you might. Just- Bring because your, because yeah. bring your in the, in the, in yeah. The, in bring your own or go or yeah. but you need to you need to pay for your own lunch. Yeah. You can go out somewhere or bring your yeah. own. And here's a here's decide. a map of yeah. the <laughs> places options. in the area. And people would give discount yeah. codes to something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Getting Riverside on board or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Like, that would be awesome. Can, well, I like that idea. I mean, yeah. as an option, because there's so many yeah. types of food there as well. Yeah. yeah. Can I um can I challenge that thinking mm-hmm. and say uh, for those that are into social procurement, it's an awesome opportunity for us. Mm. If we just say leave it up to the general, mm. whatever exists, we miss it, we lose that opportunity. Mm. Okay. Whereas if we have an opportunity to select those organisations, yes. those providers mm, who can yeah. provide, and you know mm. where do we want that our fit. dollar to go to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I yeah, know if yeah. anybody from, if Sean from Arkina was here, he'd be, mm. yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. There are businesses that, yeah. that, that fits with rather so than just anybody. Yeah. 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 And also yeah. from like a connection point of view as mm-hmm. well. Eat together. Like if people eat together, mm-hmm. build strong relationships doing mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Like I've met some of my best people at random corners of a conference room at lunchtime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
you know, something to think about. Yeah. yeah. Making that's the dollars really that people yeah. are going to spend anyway, mm-hmm. making them go further. Mm-hmm. Yep. That yeah. becomes part of the story. Yeah. 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 The experience. Is yeah. It's all connected. Yeah. 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 Do you think that there would be people that may want to be cash sponsors so that you can keep the price down? Have you had that any feeling from the people that have been involved already? Because that might be a way to sort of solve that, keep your price down, but you can still mm-hmm. bring, mm. the, bring some the, food in, the, yeah. the right type of businesses that you want to support. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's I, been part of any of your discussions around cash So far, I've just wanted to keep it as low cost as possible, but mm-hmm. also not have it be owned by anyone. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. the the first thing we don't have to stand up and say thank you to big thanks to this particular yeah, yeah. organization. Sure. So that's kind of the ethos mm-hmm. behind it. Mm-hmm. However, I'm open to it and yeah. I, I think that we would easily, you know, for some organizations five hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars, if you got ten of those all of a sudden. Well you could get yeah. five thousand dollars easily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you offer yeah. like a, a buy one, get one model where companies or organizations that were planning on sending staff had the option of doing a buy one, get one, and I know that um, admin is starting to blow out here, but then you have like a, a pool of sort of scholarship, like we've got, a, we've got 10, 50% off apply to us, sort of, so yeah. that those who do need to keep it accessible have at least an option to ask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you don't end up having to think. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I just like buy one, get one op- options. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also yeah. the ones where you can just donate um, on top of your ticket price. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've done that before too. Mm. Additional amount. Yeah. 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 Mm. To support somebody else going yeah. along. Because yeah. I really liked your social procurement comment about this is mm-hmm. a chance for yeah. us to mm-hmm. yeah. point. come well, together. Yeah, I really like that. That's mm. Yeah. 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 Well, what well, are the values? What are the values that you, you know, you kind of come to mind with this because knowing those can help yeah well it, to me it comes back to the making. word impact mm. the whole point is impact so if we yeah. can model impact in the organization mm. in the rolling it out mm. in the experience for people then we'll have ticked the box of what we're about mm. <laughs> so yeah I like the idea too if we can it's just the logistics and the mm. who has the time to devote to getting quotes and working out where we would all gather to eat, for example, and mm. you know that type of thing. Mm. Yeah, if there are people interested in that, are there people interested in helping out with the food and these types of questions? I'm happy to help. I've got no experience in all it. Yeah, I'll help with any of them. I don't think I'm better yeah, yeah. at any of them. But I'll help with any of them. Yeah, I've got some costing info from Canada already. My yeah, we can have a look at some. You can have a look. Info we've already we'll just got. You'll know how many people you've got when you just won't know yeah, the disbursement of them. Yeah. 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 So, um, but if lunch is in one location, mm. then that would solve the problem, wouldn't it? Because mm. they'll all be coming here for that. But we've got, if you've got the idea mm. that the arts people are in this venue for the day, mm-hmm. then you sort of probably have to cater for them in that venue. Mm. Well, so that'll be the only thing with your logistics. You have to just decide, mm. or do you want to have lunch in a central mm. location? or yeah. Could you have like a... When you buy your ticket, you can buy lunch, buy buy come to the conference with the t- with lunch without lunch. Mm. And so for all of those people that want to start, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 But I was the works. So yeah. you have, you have certain, options. And yeah. you're going to a certain. Everyone's coming yeah. together on it. In it, is that those that want to come to a certain area, they have that communal idea. You can be social about your procurement. You kind of get a better idea from numbers ahead on, mm-hmm. that you make it accessible for those who maybe want to bring a sandwich, I, I don't know, or you mm-hmm. like jet stuff. Well you have a cleaner mm-hmm. associated with each venue, so like you just have a food truck mm-hmm. or whatever that's yeah. like right mm-hmm. outside, and that means that one caterer is not trying to cater to 400 people, no, you don't have to try to find a separate mm-hmm. venue for people to sit and have lunch together. Yeah. That's a smart idea. The Social well, Enterprise World Forum had an interesting Thing yeah. like that, didn't they? Yeah. They had multiple, they had multiple trucks and food you had trucks a voucher and you places. could go and use yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a voucher, you go and give it to any, wherever you want. Mm. Is it mm. fine balance of, I saw this at the learning, in fact, so many, there was just such yeah. a waste, yeah. wasn't yeah. there? Yeah, like, it's true. There was so much food and people didn't eat it. And then right. I, I always hate things that they could Yeah. <laughs> but that's where you could come into that. You choose your story you of where the food's going and you have that planned out in your hand. So then people that, 
want to bring their own, they've got their mm. own food, they're not going to not eat what you've catered. Mm. Yeah. So you kind of get a better idea of numbers of yeah. who needs it provided mm. and who's going to bring their own. Mm-hmm. Um, and we so, go back to the venue idea and mm-hmm. thinking about the different streams. Um, just a question as a sample group here um, with the idea of having you know tech in one zone and art in another zone. Mm-hmm. How committed would we be as individuals to remaining in one zone for the entire day? Not at all. No. No. Would you want to mix it up? Yeah. 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 So I wasn't thinking. So like so in terms of in terms of that then, the idea of having all the separate locations mm-hmm. may not be needing to be such a huge priority. It may yeah. be for logistics having one space that ideally can cater for everybody and mm. you can move around and be kind of quite yeah. Changeable, and then you just have that one zone. Yeah. Because you know, talking about your social procurement, and also you know that value of getting together and forming connections and creating impact. I think you know eating together is a really communal idea, and you're yeah. saying about your, you know meeting people yeah. in the dark corners or whatever. Um, I get the sense that ideally that would be mm. an opportunity for people to, and we also know that you know. When we're not operating in silos, when we get out of our silos and start talking to people who are experts mm. in different fields, that's when we can really make wonderful mm. problem solving happen. We hear the expertise from another field, it's like, whoa, light goes off. I can see how that gets connected to another problem. Yeah. And I think, in terms of that impact value, um, that's my opinion. Mm. Mm. And I think the, the experience side of things, one of the, one of, things I'm conscious of is not to have it too tight, you know, yeah. to leave enough time for people yeah. to just take a breath and, oh, yeah. oh, how are you? Oh, nice to, you know, to have that space over the lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, just as an, another comment, I looked at the Air Force Museum as another potential venue, because you probably, some of you may know Canterbury Tech has their event, mm-hmm. so yeah. they have 700 people that go to that, and it's a massive space, but then they do have some breakout rooms, mm-hmm. and they have all the lunch in one place. So it's, the logistics are far easier if we mm. chose just one place to mm. do it. But we are, so we are making a harder path for ourselves, but equally there's benefits of what mm. we're yeah. talking about too. So, yeah. Could you not like use the Manai for lunch and have a deal with yeah. metro bus and a few electric buses to just take people zoom people out to the Manai for five minute bus ride and then come back for like an hour and a half lunch break? Yeah, it, it, it might be more difficult but because you have to queue people to get on the bus. So mm. five minutes it might be the drive time, but the queue time might be much work, much yeah. longer. Mm. Yeah. And I quite like the, the idea of it. it's you can walk to all the venues. Mm. 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 No, but I I hear you because I yeah. I was thinking similar. Would a, the Mirai be a great space yes. to okay. to come back to? Um, so it but could work for the end, but not maybe at the end, mm. not the end. Yeah. yeah. Not lunch. Yeah, ideally we start somewhere and we finish in the mm-hmm. same place mm-hmm. so that people mm-hmm. in their minds have gone on a journey from here yeah. and now I'm back and what's changed well, since 24 know. hours ago, what have I learned, all yeah, that. I'm so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so for the food side of things, I think probably if you don't mind looking up the catering, like the costs mm-hmm. of lunch and things, that will probably help us refine a bit further. And maybe we do have a pick and choose and the pricing varies if you can take care of the lunch then it's this much less and we just go more flexible I'm not sure I've been to an event for years where the um, the early bird price rep- uh, reflects the affordability and it also gives some capital to get going yes and then it goes right up to you know gate sales so yeah. there's like a staggered three four but the affordability is built into that Mm. Without saying, oh, this is affordable. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you know, if you make a commitment now, we've got this this hand, and then yeah. Well, that leads nicely because we need to just touch on money and pricing, which is a stream there. Um, and one of the things, one of the options, as well as that one buy one gift one type of idea, the other option would be to have like different pricing mm-hmm. levels, so that I might spend a hundred and fifty dollars, and you might spend twenty nine dollars, and mm-hmm. kind of open up access to more in that way because you're able to subsidize. Mm-hmm. So whoever's working in the pricing side of things, we could look at different options. And it is quite common to have early bird tickets, mm-hmm. you know, and, and get some people on board so you know you're going to have X number of people, you know, it's, yeah. so. 
I've um, found often when you do the tiered pricing for workshops and things particularly, people will pay more than you think they're going to pay. Right. Like even if you've said student price twenty dollars, they might still pay the fifty dollar price because they value right. the thing. Mm -hmm. I've always found people tend to pay more than you think than yeah. people, you know, all buying the student price and being like, hey, I'm not actually a student. Like, yeah, yeah. They're not trying to rip you off. I think that early bird pricing, I don't I would be interested to hear if, if the people that do require some accessibility pricing are able because if it's if, it, if they don't know about it in time or mm -hmm. if it sells out I mean usually early bird is any ticket bought before the first of next month qualifies and that doesn't necessarily mean it's it could be anybody that gets that and it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily meet yeah. the needs of someone yeah. who didn't find out about it in time or yeah. I, I don't know I, I, I'm not sure if that makes mm -hmm. it accessible it, certainly cash flow it works getting people in, getting numbers, but I don't know if that would necessarily meet the accessibility part of it. Mm. And it would be nice to have a way, if somebody really wanted to come but they just couldn't, that they could somehow mm -hmm. specify that so that we, yes. as a group, mm -hmm. could say, you know what, There's, this is free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, so like... Maybe this fund where they could... Yeah, or contribute towards or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing on the money and pricing is um, Max Palmer, who couldn't make it and gave his apologies. He has a charitable company, and he's willing for this to come under the umbrella of that because it matches his purposes, mm -hmm. which is quite good. You know, as a lawyer, from a legal perspective, we kind of need some organization to mm -hmm. umbrella us yes. mm -hmm. from a, um, invoicing and yeah. mm -hmm. like money flow. So that's actually quite generous of him. Mm -hmm. If anyone has any other thoughts, then let me know. But um, my thinking is it's like I've known Max a long time, mm -hmm. and if he's willing to do that. He also is an accountant or has that background, so he mm -hmm. can do zero and kind of do all the figures. Mm -hmm. So that, to me, that's like a, actually quite a big burden yeah. lifted yeah. because mm -hmm. I didn't, I did not want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but with that, I think um, we'll be using Humanitics as the ticketing platform. Yeah. So um, I talked with Georgia a little mm -hmm. bit and she said, we'll probably just register whatever the entity is and then you'll have an account and just put it up. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's kind of where I'm headed with that side of things. Um, yeah. So would there be any expectation that if you were inviting keynote speakers in that they'd be paid or they'd be... No, I, well, not from me. I would be like, mm -hmm. this is a yeah. not that type of a comment. We're not going to mm -hmm. pay you mm -hmm. to come and speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Greta could get here on the show. Yeah. <laughs> but you want that kind of person that wants to mm -hmm. use their voice for impact rather than yeah. get paid to come and talk about the mm -hmm. things that they normally talk right. about. Yeah. 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 But that leads nicely to the topics because I would love it if there was a team of people, like the ones I put on, those seven that we saw before, like those were just sort of, it felt like those were good topics, tech, arts, community, but there may be better topics. And um, then thinking about, okay, who, who could we invite? Um, I've been in touch with a reporter at the press who's quite interested in covering the event. And if, if for example, we could get a name to come and speak, then it would raise the profile even more as a, oh, something's happening. Um, so it's just a thought, but yeah. We can't cover everything today, so that's just a, this is a yeah, just trying to update. I think those topics um, that you've got are a pretty good start. They're pretty broad, yeah, and there's a lot of subtopics that would fit under those. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah. pretty comfortable. It's with pretty them. malleable, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and if we had a other topic, then mm. yeah. could be anything. And then inclusivity is one that would be great to get people inputting on and um, just thinking all the full range of what that word means in terms of access mm -hmm. and you know. Um, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if people can comment in the Slack channel. So basically what I'm encouraging to do is be an active participant in the Slack channel. I'm probably the one who's typed the most so far in Slack, but I would love it if you all far exceeded my <laughs> output within Slack um, and just start bouncing ideas around. And you know, if you have an, like, let's set up a Google Doc, just do it, just feel free. You know, it's, there's no, um, yeah. But I think what we'll do is try to have another meeting, uh, probably, I'm thinking like a month from now again, because mm -hmm. hopefully by then we would have sorted some of the venue side of things, yeah. got the catering options, 
um, thought through the topics and some of the speakers and the story and and I would love um, maybe between then I'd love to start going out with the story so that we can be like I just had um, Joe Blair from Brown Bag yeah. contact me and say you know what's your ask what do you what do you want which is a great mm. question um, and I said I'll get back to you <laughs> so um, do we need to be and this is just a question the answer maybe no but do we need like maybe a leader for each topic or like mm. a group that's working on each topic and like story yeah. and comms might be one topic together for example yeah um do we need to establish that fairly soon so that we've got some clear momentum yeah behind someone each pushing thing? each one yeah, yeah. So there's well like i would appreciate that because thing. i don't want to be the one who's having to say hey how's the how's the food how's the catering going mm. you know so definitely my organizing brain goes working groups yeah. <laughs> I know that's our conference. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and as much as, I mean, I completely appreciate the spirit of, of collaboration and on conference, I think without some element of leadership, mm. informal or not, I think mm. it just, it, there's always, there needs to be someone to kind of just bring it together and not to know the answers, just to go, okay, are we kind of coming to, have we gone out? Okay, are we coming back in? Now like a momentum leader. Like more yeah. so, yeah. Just yep. making sure we're moving. Not no, moving. I love that yeah, idea. Just kind of <laughs> yep. Mm. And well, some then. time frames on when things need to yeah. be, mm. because may will come pretty quickly it will. in terms of promotion and yep and having it go live like okay having everything the ready to are, go yeah, yeah exactly you start promotion yeah well like i for one can say that i do not want to leave story and comms because that's what i do for a job <laughs> so if i leave that i'll just take over so someone else <laughs> needs to leave story and comms so that it can mm-hmm I know. So you can contribute to it, yes, but not lead it. But yeah, I hear lead. you. Yeah. But I am happy to lead any other one thing. Okay. But it would be cool to have someone lead story and comms that is. Well, should yeah. we just do a quick? Does any, do, do any of these topics really jump out to some of you as, in terms of actually you could lead some of them? Um, yeah. Jen. Just yeah. one in particular? Or? Uh, story and com sounds good. I mean, yeah. I can, um, I mean it's, it's all about the you know, geography, history, cultural direction of what we're going to do with the impact yeah. conference. What does impact mean even? Yeah. I mean, we haven't really answered that question. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to give it a go. Yeah. And spam your old Slack account. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've typed James will leave this. <laughs> How about for experience, anyone? This is kind of logistics, is that the Yeah, I guess it's logistics? becoming sort of a logistics. <coughs> Probably experience, food, and venue would possibly so you know, tie kind together. of tie in together. Mm. Yeah. Um, Anyone feel the, the pull of this? I'd like to help, but I certainly don't feel qualified to leave. Mm-hmm. Should I? Mm-hmm. I could put my hand up for that. Yeah, okay. Maybe just more join the group. And I'll certainly join the group. I'm just... Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm lucky that's what I do every day, yeah. so yeah. I would just take over. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just coming in to listen in today. You're just so listening in, yeah. <laughs> I'm still asking lots of questions. <laughs> okay, awesome. No, this is good, though. Inclusivity. I would love to work on that. Work on it, um, yeah. And I've got some good contacts in terms of, like, um, accessibility for mm-hmm. people with disabilities and other needs and then yeah. you could get in touch with like Utopia around that sort of thing sure. and yep. get a Māori lens on it and a that would be great. lens yeah. on it that's something to All think those about things. venues as well accessibility yeah. Yeah. Um, it's probably a yeah, yeah, yeah. So important one of my clients is the access group for Christchurch okay. and they're like accessible venues we know where they all are oh, so oh. they get a list from them yeah <laughs> they can that might help yeah, us I'm, so. yeah. I'm super pumped on that one yeah as leading it or I'm contributing happy, I'm happy to lead yeah I'm also happy to step back if someone else would rather okay I'm, I'm do we have any other takers involved, you, it, involved then, yeah um, particularly from the Māori perspective yeah cool mm-hmm. yeah okay but I'll put you down to lead it yeah, is that so okay that. great all right and then does anyone feel called with money and pricing? I feel like Max is going to help with lots of that, mm-hmm. but equally we we'll probably need some people to input on, okay, well, how much are we going to charge? 
Mm. And a lot of that will come down to some of the logistical aspects, is that correct? It will. Correct? It'll flow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 the actual cost is. Yes, yes, yes. And once you've yeah. got the cost, then you'd have to... So maybe for that one, it's not so much one leader, it's kind of... Seeing what the data the says and then the yeah, it's a bit later down the track. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This need help with. I just put that as a. We can put anything random there. Sort of. You know. Oh, there's already random. Well, <laughs> this one is. I need help. Like I put. Can someone take minutes? But nobody saw it probably. But it's okay because <laughs> I've I videoed it. <laughs> um. And then the story, that's the comms, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The topics, does anyone feel like they want to lead that? I think that also involves potentially mm -hmm. contacting people who would be the, the lightning speakers or the speakers as well. Could, could the um, topics go with the, the um, comms and the story? Yeah. Topics? All together? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. James, is that okay? Yeah, yeah I mean, I suppose what, what we're going to communicate is strongly connected to what Talking about, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe if somebody can work out how to group them, <laughs> mm -hmm. we could have like A comms, A story, A, and then B mm -hmm. food, B, you know, yeah, just to nice keep them together. I don't know if others can edit them since you're the. I'm the owner. admin. Okay. Not sure. Well, maybe I'll have a go at editing, but I'll try and work out how to give you all access. Mm -hmm. I, think I think this... You may have to invite other people to become administrators. Right, okay. This one, I think, just got created um, because it was the name of the mm -hmm. thing, and then venue. Mm -hmm. Venue was kind of within that, was it? What you were talking about. Okay. So sorry, oh. venue is included in inclusivity, is it, or not? Mm -hmm. Venue, food, Ven and experience. So we'll need quite a big venue. time under venue, yeah. food, experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To support you. Yeah, yeah like experience, food, again. and venue. Yeah. Food, yeah. 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 yeah, well, I, I'm not trying to abdicate either in terms of I'll still be here to mm -hmm. be supporting mm -hmm. and being involved, so yeah. don't mm -hmm. feel like it's... People can just jump in and pop their names in mm. and say, I'm happy to yeah, exactly. be part of this. Yeah, and yeah. You have kind of get many groups going. Of, of them. So I haven't said I'm really keen to be involved in the story, comes and topics and mm. in the inclusivity. So yeah, you can just jump into different areas. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. Okay. Was there anything else that we haven't covered, particularly if you haven't spoken and really had something you wanted to say? I think also like if there's things that come up like there's a venue that's available and you you know want to chat that through with people before the next meeting if we're only having them once a month maybe just like putting out the invite to have a video call or whatever yeah. just half an hour to chat mm -hmm. things through yeah. just to keep that momentum up or something yeah. easier to talk rather than mm -hmm. like Definitely, just pick up the phone mm -hmm. yeah. and talk yeah. to each other because you know you emails we've got the more emails we send the more we get. Yeah. So, and sometimes it's just nice you can get something done yeah. and open over the phone. Yeah. yeah, and we have that ability to direct message within Slack, so you could exchange phone numbers and things through that too. Um, yeah. Can I contribute something that's not from me? Because I know I've talked a lot. But Sal from Lee Development yep. asked me to pass on. Um, she was sad that she couldn't be here today, but the idea of what happens after mm -hmm. the, um, the Impact Unconference, yep. yeah. um, because there are so many things that we go to, and then what happens afterwards, how do we keep the momentum going? And she raised the idea of like, how do we continue to communicate with the people that came, and how do we maybe have some, if there were topics that people really wanted to go to, maybe have some, that person runs a workshop with an Impact Unconference tag or something yep. underneath it. Yeah. Just that idea of the it's a great, momentum. I agree completely. Yeah. And we will definitely think about that. Yeah. And I actually went to a meeting yesterday and um, there is something planned for the end of this year that will really mesh nicely with us. Okay. So I think we'll be able to work with the people who are organizing that. Cool. And then, um, yeah, mm. it'll be a nice flow on. 
Yeah, it's from a learning yeah. perspective that I've been thinking as yeah. well. And actually, I'm going to catch up with um, Sel in a couple of weeks. We haven't met before, but social media, hello. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so that'd be something I'd be keen to support and work with as well. Mm-hmm. So, what? What now? Um, what are we going to do about it? Yeah, what's yeah. next? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's critical. Mm. Mm. So, it could be part of the experience yeah. tag as well. Yeah. We did a really cool thing on a um, campus where we went on. When was that? I don't know. But you wrote a letter to yourself and then it was posted mm. to you in like six months. It's like an accountability thing. It's right. awesome. Mm-hmm. You do all your reflections yeah. and your learnings and like, what are you going to do from this? Mm. Like, what's next for you? And it gets sent in the mail. And you read it, it's just like... Even you know, postcards, you know, kind of yeah. read. Mm. Yeah. Um, just a few little lines with a question. On it. That's a great there. idea. Write their things and hand them in as they leave and then... Them write their address mm-hmm. on it and, and, and then we just remember six months later to yeah, post yeah, them post out and <laughs> budget, <please. laughs> yeah yeah um the, the only other thing to mention is that there's there is a website um probably for comms there's a way that people can sign up to the newsletter mm-hmm. so we're getting people signing up so that will be another thing is to mm-hmm. actually send out an edm to whew, things are happening but also each of your networks you know people like i said at the start who might be interested or could offer some help. Mm-hmm. So um, let's keep up that Did you collaboration. Put up LinkedIn? Do you have a LinkedIn page for this? I don't think I have a LinkedIn page for this. No. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would be helpful? I, I yeah. No, I was just if you had it, I was gonna. Yeah. Link it and share it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that would be I've I, if you the website if you post it on LinkedIn it shows up with the social media the picture and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, people can. Go through there. Mm. So just a quick question. So are you wanting, um, would you like us to start sharing about the Impact Gun Conference now? Or do we want to work out a more scheduled time to get that message across so it's like a, it's like worded beautifully and you know, we know what the values mm. are and there's more information around it? Is there a time you had in mind that you would like to get that? Well, what do other people think? I, I tell people about it now as just organic. And I even say, like, look, we don't even have a venue. You know, I make a joke about it, but it's going to happen. And this is what, and here's a website, and you can sign up for the newsletter so you stay informed, you know. So I'm going ahead and telling people. Um, and, yeah, there are 60 logos on there. So um, what do yeah. We can if we want, if we want to share about it. I think yeah. so, yeah, it's not, there's and no rule. And for like next meeting to have the story like kind of drafted out mm-hmm. or whatever our comms plan is, so then we can kind of just agree that, yeah, that, that seems good, mm-hmm. and then kind of look to launch it yeah. after that, maybe, in a more like structured way. I think so, I think it's quite handy to have mm-hmm. a, like a specific, a specific logo or a specific image that starts to, you know, that, it's, it's the same, so then when we get the message across, everyone knows, oh, what is this? I've seen this a few times. Mm-hmm. This must be a, you know, a mm-hmm. down conference. Mm-hmm. I think if we could get that sooner, then it could have a bit more, you know, like yep. a guerrilla marketing effect. And, yeah. 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 But no rush, but so yeah. to keep in the back of our minds. Yeah. yeah, no, that's good. So if, if I send around a date, like, about a month from now, so I guess yeah. that's mm-hmm. sort of late middle of next month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please make sure there's a clash with New Frontiers. Yeah. Around those days. Yeah. I'll be at New Frontiers, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll try and um, connect via Slack and hopefully have an agenda for the comms. But you're right, the month's time needs to be, like, we yeah. need to be, yeah. like, knowing where we're going in terms of the story and the comms and the strategy and the release and when we're releasing mm-hmm. hypothetical, to the, you know threads or topics and then where we're going with the whole yeah. thing because time is running out here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we don't have it all completely planned, but it is quite cool to have, you know, make it look like we do, at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 in this pile that we share to get people starting to talk about it. Yeah. 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 And it's started with Dr. Green taking some notes from people, so I'll tie it up in terms of the story. Yeah, I'll try and set up like a, yeah, maybe a call even with, we can just follow up on that topic. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right.